Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Two days in a row now, EA has singled in on one sector of the FC24 Ultimate Team market, and player prices are down bad, specifically in this position because of the content that we have had recently. Now, the question is, will these player prices continue to drop with maybe some more good content like the Hero Pack coming back again today on Sunday? We'll talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content on a Saturday where we had an SBC that I don't think too many of us were expecting. Andrea Pirlo released as a upgraded Foot Centurions Icon Player SBC with the dead ball playstyle plus 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, medium medium work rates, he got the 80 pace boost right away when I saw this card guys yesterday. I immediately was reminded of the Pirlo card that I used a ton last year in FIFA 23, the team of the year Pirlo, and I put this tweet out right away because it was what was on my mind. This Centurions Pirlo, if you take a look at the stats, it's kind of crazy to see how similar they are. They're not like, you know, the same card, like 82 pace on the card last year in 80 pace right now, but this is a card that's released in October versus a card that is released in the middle of January during team of the year. A crazy card for this stage of the game especially being an icon now he does have i don't know some people like the play style some people don't like them he doesn't have trivella or finesse one of the things i loved about his card last year were the trivella shots that he could do the five star skills is dope the medium medium work rates do kind of put people off i don't know guys this sbc is actually very very upvoted if we take a look on Footbin, I think it's got an 84% upvote, 82% upvote for this Pirlo card that I think is coming in right around 500k, or like 480,000 coins, 480k ish. Maybe it's right around 550k. I think one of the squads in here is not computing, so let's just say around 500k for Pirlo. Which, if we're gonna be honest, if this card was on the market, man, with some of the other card prices that I see, like Gattuso is 88k. Of course, that's not a very good card. Kuman's only 172, and Smith, while being good, is 783k. Like, I don't think this Pirlo would be that expensive on the market, guys. I know it's a really cool SBC. I think that's what the factor is here. It's a cool SBC. It was unexpected, and it is definitely usable. Great passing, great dribbling, and a decent playstyle plus. But I think, honestly, this is one that I probably wouldn't do. I mean, this is just a lot of fodder, especially right now when fodder is hard to come by on the top tier. 87, 88. Unless you're a fan of Pirlo or you want to craft this later on down the line, this might be one that you maybe put on the back burner. Kind of the same reason of Stoichkov, right? Yeah, it's a great card, but you're going to be able to get a card that is similar to this, maybe even a little bit better in other stats, you know, through evolutions right the big one that was dropped on friday other cards are going to be via sbc stuff like that so i think for me it's a pass but if you're a fan of pirlo if you want to craft towards this card it's not terrible right it's only eight squads which of course you've got the bronze and silver in there so it's not terrible if you want to try them out just get the loan version for five games give the card a run and see how it pro uh, performs for you in game so that is definitely one of the big sbcs we've had and yet again guys it's another center mid we'll talk about that in a second also yesterday we had another tradable pack sbc prime electron players pack guys this one's a must do um it's really cheap to do it's pretty easy to do as well 75 rated you know five clubs minimum it's a prime electron players pack is a really good pack so i'm going to favorite that to remind myself to get that done in the next two days because that is a chance at a icon promo icon or a centurions card or maybe even some fodder that we might need for a part of today's content also yesterday although it wasn't a crazy day there were some other things in the store going on as well we did have I think this is actually, truth to say, the most expensive, the biggest promo pack in the store. 300,000 coins? I think before, what was the most expensive one? 275? Anyways, 100 rare gold players and still 15% chance of a Centurions, a 2% chance of an Icon for the Centurions promo squad. So 3k FP pack, a big one there in the store. I don't know if you guys were opening that one yesterday. I'm definitely not going to be doing that um, as we don't open a lot of those packs because we are free to play. And right now I'm not spending 300K out of my 2 million whatever coins I have on a pack like that. I'd rather go other places with it. And speaking of coins, a lot of people have been losing coins, unfortunately, in some specific areas. And that's what I really want to talk about today is EA haven't just like crashed the market. EA have crashed the market in a specific area because two days in a row now they've dropped insane content that has people selling these cards, center midfielders, 
and going after ones in evolutions like Urente, Chameni, Crystal Dunn, or doing the Pirlo SBC, which is being well received by a lot of people in this game. Let's take a look at this market crash that is happening, guys. This Fede Valverde is just one of the few. Valverde on Friday was 400,000 coins. His card was in packs, nothing like he was out of packs or anything like that. Valverde was 400k. The whole Urente, the box to box evolutions Evo situation happens. He goes down to 370, right? He goes actually down to 350. Yesterday on Saturday, prices took a dump even more from 353k all the way down to where he is now at like 305 for one of the best midfielders in the game is crazy that's a really solid card as well that a lot of people are really not able to afford for their ultimate teams a 300k midfielder that's still an expensive card oh let's look at some cheaper options right tonali we looked at him i put a tweet out yesterday of some of the big time Price drops that we've seen on these midfielders. Tonali was 55k on Friday. He's literally almost half the price that he was. 55k Friday, start of the day, yesterday on Saturday at 37k, and now my guy is 29,000 coins. And guys, it's it's happening to icons as well. I remember selling a Schweinsteiger last week on Thursday for 417,000 coins. He is down a hundred thousand coins because of that drop. I think Lam as well. You can tell a lot of people are using some of these players. Like people are not just using Lom at right back or left back because Rom can also or Lom can also play CDM and take a look at his price since Friday. He was 550k. He's now 474k. And it looks like, according to the flipping graph, he was just 450 uh, multiple times yesterday, and he just went up a little bit. So center mids across this game are down horrendous. And again, just to to make it clear, it is because of multiple different situations, but purely it's the hype around this. Centurion's box-to-box -box midfielder that I think is causing a lot of the market crash on this position. The Pirlo yesterday probably causing a little bit as well. But in these last two days, you've had a lot of people that are going out and spending 150k to evolve a midfielder that they have to put in their team, right? Because if you're going to use that evolution and get it upgraded, if you're going to do the Urente, you got to put that card in your team ASAP and start playing champs games, start playing rivals games with that card so that you can get to upgrading it, right? And that's what a lot of people are doing. And it's hurting prices of the rest of the center mid market on the game now are these cards that you want to buy all these center mids that are just down 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 at some point they're going to bounce back right we've seen this before where players in a certain position drop like crazy amounts inform Gretzka like if there was no center mid market crash this week I think this inform Gretzka would be over 200k like it is an inform Gretzka card really solid card power shot interceptor bruiser aerial and it's just a holy gang, Goretzka, right? That's a sick card, but he's only 160,000 coins right now because of the state of the market that we are in. I don't think I would go out and invest in a bunch of center mids right now because I think they would like explode in price in the next two, three days. I'm not expecting that, but some of these cards have gotten probably too low for their own good. And during this next week, maybe the week after that, whatever cards link to some of the most hyped and popular cards that people are putting in their teams, like maybe EA drop uh, a Bayern Munich SBC player or something, Goretzka could have a nice rebound back. That's just an example, right? So watch the center mid market, especially the more rare cards, informs, out of packs cards. From Trailblazers, Road to the Knockouts, if any of those are down, Icons, Heroes. Keep a close eye on those because those could potentially rebound a little bit faster because, let's be honest, a lot of the panic selling on the center mids has probably happened this weekend. Now, the rest of the market's not looking too great either. If we take a look at, like, Varane, right? Obviously, he's not a center mid. Center back, 60K for Varane. Let's go back to Friday. What was he? 81,000 coins dropped off a lot as we saw a sizable market drop off. We talked about that in last night's video and kind of as I expected yesterday as well, prices had a bit of a rebound. I was able to, some of those cards I showed you in the video, I was able to flip them and then guess what happened? Just all day long, just drop, drop, drop once again from 73K on Varan all the way down to 60,000 coins. Guys, I think we're we're near a point where some of these cards are going to go back up today, but also today we might have some good content. So it's going to be a very interesting day today on the market. Now, that's just one card. Let me show you an example um, of another one. Militao's only 100K. Wow, 108. That's another card uh, from 130,000 coins he was on Friday down to 108K. VVD was like 270. It's not just center backs, but those are kind of the cards I'm looking at right now. Erling Holland. I know that some people are selling this card on Friday because he's we're getting that free version of Holland right in like December or something. That's still a month away. He was 190,000 coins. Even with Odegaard, his, his price couldn't withstand the market drop that has happened over these past few days. It's been wild. It's been crazy to see 
the amount of price drops that have happened. And I've been hurt because of it too. It's not just like, I'm losing coins, guys, like myself. I did trade a little bit yesterday. The Kuman I bought at 200. It was a decent flip. I bought this at 50. This is the Pedri that I bought at 270. A couple other out of packs flips that I made. I flipped two Mendy's over the weekend for about 40 to 50K profit each. Sold my Rashford. Um, and then Harry Kane, I, I got this guy at 359, man. And he's all, he was all the way down at 310 yesterday. He's about 320, 330 right now. So I'm taking the cash on his card. He might be getting an inform this week, which is why his inform card is dropping a lot right now as well. Um, I do think that his new inform card will not be as good as the trailblazers that is obviously the one that i am losing coins on at the moment but still um i kind of would rather have those coins back because i don't see his card rising up a ton in the next day or two maybe a little bit he's a rare card he'll be good to flip but he's down a ton and i'm losing some coins there so i'm losing coins as well guys some of the road of the knockouts that got upgraded right those cards dropped off yesterday modric was down at 330 he's now back up to 350 a little bit it was just not a really good day on the market to be holding cards but we saw this same story unfold last week. And remember, guys, what we had on Sunday with squad battle rewards was we ended up having a pretty sizable market rise. And some of the lowest prices we saw for the entire week happened um, between, let's see, this time right now, like early Sunday, late Saturday night time frame, and also after the content drop that happened on Sunday today. So I think today might actually be a decent time where before squad battle rewards or during squad battle rewards, you might be able to pick up some nice cards for decent prices like this Veron at 62k. You know, that might be a card that goes up to like 65 or 67,000 coins today after squad battle rewards, but then it could drop again after the content drops. So I think there is potential for a bounce back today with SB rewards. If you want to watch the market, focus on meta golds, right? Meta golds, the, these golds that are up here a lot. Usman will be one, Sun. Griezmann's out of pack, so I'd be careful with him. I'm pretty sure he was 130, though, yesterday at one point. 131. Uh, on Friday, of course, he had the big spike up to 133. Yeah, he's been around 130. So, like, Griezmann could go back up today as a lot of people are using Urente. They're linking him in their squads. So, definitely keep an eye on that. Maybe a guy like Neymar goes back up a little bit today. I would just say stay away from center mids or be very careful with center mids. I'd just play with other areas of the market if you're trying to trade with any of that. And, of course, it's always slept on, man. Watch your out-of-pack special cards, guys. Like, this Mar Marquinhos is 309 right now. Is that for real? 309, or is that just an undercut? I mean, that that's really low. Like, that is something that I would be interested in trading today. Just because Marquinhos has the PSG links to the Gioro card that is in the team right now. Okay, that's a snipe. 309 for this Marquinhos. Like, he's 330 right now, or 325. He might go to, like, 335 today or something like that, right? These out-of-packs cards are going to be the safest cards to be trading with today. Watch Team of the Weeks. Watch Road to the Knockouts, man. It's all They're always slept on, even because their prices are so inflated. Like, Joao Pedro was 430 yesterday. He was 430 multiple times, I believe. Once he was 440 there, 430 again there, and right now he's 400k again. That's a card that you can probably trade with confidence right now in this game. And if you don't want to mess with anything in packs, you can look into that. So I'm gonna look up Joao Pedro right now. If he's actually sitting at four, I'll try to get 400k flat. Um, that would be a card that you could be oh, 399. Say less. I'm in. So that's a card that is rare that a lot of people may want to wake up today and use for weekend league and i'll take the risk that he will go back up to at least like 430 how many pages to 430 one page two page that's so few cards man that's a card that i'm going to risk it on today and try to trade with so watch out for some opportunities like that to trade today now if you're like nate that seems too risky to me i don't want to mess with it here's what i'll tell you all right today on sunday there is rumors there is expectations for a pack like this to be dropped back in the game. The Max 87 Hero Upgrade Pack, it dropped two weeks ago. It was the first Hero Upgrade Pack of the year. It made the market drop like crazy after content because everybody went and did this SBC, and it was it was crazy, right? It was the first time that we had it. Now, first of all, do I think this is coming today? I think there's a high likelihood that it could come. One of the guys on Twitter that's been posting leaks is saying that it is coming, but honestly, guys, you know, EA sometimes pulls funny business with the second time they release an upgrade pack like this they could just release a player sbc today like mudrick we're still waiting on we had a brand new leak for marta as an sbc uh, her card was leaked before but it's actually coming as an sbc guys that could be today mudrick could be today vidic i doubt they do two icon sbcs in a row but mudrick or marta seems very possible today as well for a player sbc so 
so does this SBC, to be honest, but you never know, right? A lot of people expect this to be today. I'll tell you that much. And a lot of people have invested in fodder. A lot of people have been, been investing in 85s and 86s, by the way. And again, like I said yesterday, I'm still at a spot where I don't love the fodder investment because of how many people are invested. Yes, this hero pack is hype. And yes, people would love to do it again if it drops today for the same price. But I want to show you something, guys. If you take a look at all the solutions for this hero pack last week when, when this was like, you know, out or two weeks ago when it was out, I don't see 85s and 86s in, in these cheapest solutions. One 86 Parejo. What I see is a lot of 84s and 87s as kind of the cheapest way to do this SBC. So if I was going to risk it on any fodder today, I would risk it on 87s. And I know they're already a little expensive. They're already 16, 17K a piece. They were 19K on Tuesday. They could go back up to 19 to 20K. If the SBC is hype, you could see a nice spike with those because an 86 rated squad is what this required last time. That was the requirements for the hero pack. And if EA do it again, I think 87s, maybe 84s could move a little bit. That's kind of where I would look today if you want to risk it on an investment. But also, I know a lot of people are investing. So personally, I don't even know if I would do the hero SBC a second time around. I got Captivia the first time. It went boom straight into my team. It would be a fun SBC to do, and I actually have some fodder in the club, so I would maybe entertain the thought of doing it. But again, it's just you got to be careful with the SBCs. On a weekend where a lot of people have been losing coins and player prices have been going down, it's also something where I'm like, if I lost 50 to 100K this weekend, like putting myself in the shoes of probably a lot of people on the game, maybe not you, right? Who knows? But I would just be careful doing SBCs that would drain even more of my coins out of the club. That's the way that I would try to think. But also, you got to balance that with having fun as well so along with a lot of people investing in sbc fodder guys a lot of people are waiting for that pack to come today the hero pack so that they can go out to the market and do what we just mentioned about buying cards for teams the first time this hero pack was released and actually last week when the icon pack was released for the first time it did cause a sizable dip and a lot of prices on the market dropped down and then they were really, really low, and that was kind of like the lowest point as everybody was selling cards to go do the new Hero SBC or the new Icon SBC. I think that sort of situation could present itself again today, and what to do in that situation would be go buy the Meta Golds. Guys, I'm talking like this is 15, 20, 30 minutes after the Hero Pack were to drop today, if it were to drop. Watch for price drops on these meta gold cards. Like, uh, how much of a drop? You're like, well, could Kyle Walker go from like a 90,000 coins? Let's say he goes up to 95 today after squad battle rewards. And then he goes down to like, you know, like 87 or something. Like, that would be a drop. Like, lower than what he was in the late uh, night or early morning hours today on, on Sunday before squad battle rewards is a price that I would look for on a meta higher highest rated as possible meta card also look at the out of packs like the road to the knockouts i'm going to say this all the time it's a safer place to be uh the trailblazers the team of the week cards just safer with these cards because they're not getting supplied they're not getting packed wow bruno fernandez is 97k cards are just really not rising well out of packs this year besides road to the knockouts because they're live noted okay noted remember that Trailblazers team too as well did really great Friday right after content did a nice spike Sophia Smith went up Robbo went up Kane went up and now they're just in the mud so we're gonna make note of that for the upcoming promos um, coming in the future although Centurions may be different because they're just so cheap already we'll have to see like a special Pedri for 240k is kind of wild uh, but he's really supplied too so anyways we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here just watch for some price drops today after content if we get the hero pack that might create a good buying opportunity for then our normal Monday market rise that we do often see on Mondays. It looks like one of my Harry Kane's sold. I'm using the other one in a couple games of champs right now. So I am not going to sell it at the moment. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is a potential mini release. Um, I do think we're expecting a few more Centurions cards here. Uh, Lacazette, Ryerson, there's a few that have been leaked that I think we're going to see today on the game. I'm not expecting any icons. Um, maybe EA is going to surprise us with one more special icon for Centurions. It could come out today, so watch out for the mini release. And last tip I have for the video today is if you're not in the UK, watch the clock because today content's going to be dropped at a different time because the clock's changed in the UK, which means 
uh, that the con they, they moved backwards. It was time change. Clocks went back an hour. So that means the difference like between us and the USA is shorter now. So instead of five hours from Eastern to the UK, it's only going to be four because the clocks went back. So content's going to be an hour later in the USA. Uh, and wherever else you're at in the world, maybe just do the adjustment, do the math uh, for that. But that is going to change, at least for us in the USA, I think for a whole week before our clocks go back. So that's be a little bit of a change there. And sometimes like EA mess up with this stuff. So check the normal content drop time and check the hour after that or before, depending on where you're, whether you're whichever side of the UK you're at. Uh, because I think the pack timers, oh no, look at this, EA, they planned ahead, guys. Look, five days, 15 hours for the Premium Centurions pack, five days, 14 hours for the Elite Centurions pack. EA was on one, man. So watch the store today, though. It might update um, It might update early because, you know, EA have not factored in the time change. Watch content drop normal hours and then also uh, an hour later, depending on where you're at as well. Just to see if EA uh, messed it up today. But I wanted to get that out there. And honestly, guys, today for me, I'm not going to be able to be on the game too much. I'm going to be pretty busy. So what I have done is I went in on a little bit of an investment. And if you stay to the end of the video, here's a little bit of a gem for you. I picked up some Jude Bellingham. All right. I picked up just four of them. I didn't want to send my whole bankroll into Jude Bellingham. But Jude Bellingham had an absolute banger of a game yesterday, scoring both goals for Real Madrid in an El Clasico 2-1 win. He, of course, was up a lot, right? This card went from 78K all the way to 98,000 coins. He was crashing like everything else, and he's been down a lot, right? Friday before you know, Rente came out, he was 116, or before that evolution came out, and everybody started evoing CMs. Um, he was 83K up to 86, went down to 78, went up to 100, and is now back down to 87. So I went out and I picked up just a couple of him uh, because I just think that like Griezmann, like a couple of these other cards have been out of packs and they've been doing really, really well out of packs. I think he's a guy that you could probably be pretty safe putting into your, your club, your ultimate team. Uh, I know there are shouts for him to win player of the month, but I honestly, again, I'll say it. I don't think he's going to win. I think Griezmann's going to win. And basically you're investing for the out of packs portion of this card when next week on a Wednesday or this coming week on Wednesday, he should get a team of the week. And you're like, Nate, didn't he just get one? He did. But it was Team of the Week 3, and for just this game being an El Clasico, the fact that he scored an absolute rocket of a goal, uh, his inform is dropping. I think his Trailblazers will drop a little bit too. This is an investment that I'm making because I think Jude Bellingham can be 100,000 coins come Tuesday. Before we even know who's going to be in Team of the Week, we could sell on the hype and take the, um, the quick flip profits there but it's just something that i wanted to put my coins into i paid like 85k for him try to get him on snipe today if you want to go in on an investment like that again center mids are down but this could be one of the ones that rebounds up a little bit faster it is risky but he's going out of packs and that has worked really well this year so we will just have to see but that's going to be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for account see you guys in the video tomorrow peace out